Hey YouTube, welcome back to day 13 of our 30 day spooky challenge where we're aiming to create a spooky Halloween themed island. The rules are simple, we need to start and finish a new island in 30 IRL days. Time travel is okay and there is no DLC or Nintendo Switch Online allowed which I am starting to regret. As always, have an absolutely awesome day. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Okay, today we need to make bells. We need to pay off our loan and we need to make some Nook Miles because we need to buy some island design permits, preferably the waterscaping because we need to get rid of this river. We need a big open space to work with. We may have enough Nook Miles. I think it's only 2,000. So let's go and check that out first. Unfortunately, Nook's Cranny is shut today, but anything we get to sell, we can just put here until we can sell them tomorrow. Hey everyone, oh, oh, oh okay, just ignore me then. <laughs> okay, so which one, I think we're gonna go with the waterscaping. We, we want them, oh, they're 6,000. No, it was the paths that were 2,000. Okay, time to grind the Nook Miles for a little bit, I guess. Okay, so we need to catch fish, catch bugs. Looks like we need to do some weeding and also water our crops. Only some of them have grown for some reason. So we're just gonna water these and do a bunch of little tasks that we would normally do anyway, but also just to earn some Nook Miles. Okay, we need to catch a bunch of fish as well. We also need to catch bugs. Look at all the bugs that these flowers are drawing in. Okay, we just need to plant a fruit tree as well. So we're just gonna grab a peach and plant it somewhere here. Lovely singing, Sylvia. It's not going to stay here, but for the sake of the Nook Miles, we're going to plant a fruit tree here. And now we have a whole bunch of Nook Miles to claim, but I still don't think it's gonna be enough. Okay, now we need to hit rocks, catch a violin beetle, complete some DIY projects, get some fossils assessed, and talk to our neighbors. Okay, we were just about to get the fossils anyway, so that's pretty good. We've got some serious tidying to do thanks to the time travel um, to upgrade nooks. We've now got weeds everywhere again. Oh, it's a gyroid. Look, I dug up a clatteroid. Why is there so many weeds? Hitting our rocks is one of the Nook Miles tasks. So we're gonna do this anyway, of course, because it is part of our daily routine just to get all of the materials we need for crafting. Okay, we're going to get some fossils assessed. You can tell we've been trying to grind the Nook Miles, just our pockets are full of random stuff. Thank you, Blathers. We will once again be making money off your expertise, but not until tomorrow. In the meantime, we need to dump everything outside of Nooks, I think, ready for when it opens tomorrow, and then we can sell it all tomorrow. So I think we could just put everything on the beach. Actually, these fossils look pretty cool just dropped on the floor like that. So maybe we should keep a few and kind of scatter them around the Lost Woods when we, when we make it. That's pretty cool. I've never really noticed... I don't think I've ever dropped a fossil that's been appraised. That's kind of cool. There we go. We've started a collection of things we can sell tomorrow when Nooks opens up. Okay, where are my villagers at? Hi, it's me, Al. I want to chat. I wonder if something fun will happen today. It could any old second. Anytime now. I'm so excited. Hey, what's up? What's the good word? Uh, let's talk. Clear sky, smooth sailing, living the dream, Maury. I'm glad everyone's uh, enjoying KK's pre-performance performance. performance. Oh, we need to shoot a balloon down for the Nook Miles. We must water our flowers. We need more hybrids. Bug, get away from our hybrids. We're like an hour in and we're still grinding the Nook Miles. Next up is three deep sea creatures. Oh, I got a scallop. Hey, Pascal. Hey, man, about that scallop of yours. Can I have it? Sure. It's okay to be a couch potato. Just don't be a bed yam, man. That's just not cool. Oh, we got a mermaid wall clock recipe. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We got our third deep sea creature. Now, what seems like after forever grinding the Nook Miles, we have a new one. Visit the roost for a coffee break and that will take us over the 8,000. That's just the perfect Nook Miles to finish the Nook Mile grind on. So let's go and enjoy a coffee. Brewster, I'm, I'm sorry there's no one else here, but we're here for a bit of a coffee break. 
Coffee is 200 bells a cup. Cool. How about it? Yes, please. It's best to drink it fresh before it cools. Um, I'll do just that. Oh, yum. I found the blend I want to drink for the rest of my life. Okay, coffee break over and we now have enough Nook Miles to finally buy a new permit. Okay, we will have to go for the waterscaping permit first because we need to get rid of the river or at least divert it. Uh, so, oh, it's only 6,000. What? Oh, what is even going on today? Clearly, I am half asleep. Okay, we should now have the waterscaping permit. There we go. We can now dig our rivers or hide them. So we basically need to get rid of this river all the way up to the waterfall. This is going to take longer than I thought. Sorry, fishy. Okay, we're coming to the end now. We're going to get take it up to the waterfall. Should be far enough. Um, to have some land to work with when it comes to actually creating the cliffs of Jack's face. <laughs> At least that's the plan. Okay, there we go. We have diverted the water or cut off one of the rivers at least. Uh, and maybe we'll just do... Actually, do you know what? I think we need to get rid of the whole part of the waterfall as well. We're getting there slowly. We're slowly filling all of the river that runs through the center of the map. Um, it just takes a little while. So close to finishing. We just need to get rid of this tiny little pond and the waterfall now. Ah, I can hear again. <laughs> we did it. We have no river going through the center of our map now. The top middle six acres. So the top three and then the three below it is completely river free. And I'm imagining that's where Jack's face is going to go. We're going to make kind of an oval pumpkin shape in those six acres. I'm hoping maybe, I don't know if that's going to be too big. But that's what I'm envisioning <laughs> at least. And then from there we can carve out the rest of the cliffs. And then start moving villager houses up the map. Um, but that's going to be more work. We need to grind more Nook Mars and we need to unlock the cliff permit. So I guess we'll have to do that another day. Okay, we don't have the shop open to make money. But luckily, we've been pretty slack with our bell trees. And we have a few to collect. So we're just going to grab those now. I'm surprised no one has looted them. It would be really awesome if we had enough to pay our loan off. But I don't think we're going to quite make it. No, we obviously got lazy and planted some 1,000 bells. Vivian, hey, doing a spot of fishing? Why, you seem well, don't you, Piffle? It's yet another splendid day on Moriween. Oh, I know I sound unusually chipper, but who can blame me, Piffle? Okay, we're heading back outside Nooks again to empty our pockets ready for tomorrow. So we're just going to have to put everything down here again. Okay, since we have some Nook Miles left over and we've been working hard, even if that doesn't come across necessarily in the video, we've been we've been grinding for a little while, so I think we should treat ourselves to a Mystery Island boat tour. Uh, we'll just basically go and get our gyroid fragment. I realized yesterday that we, we won't get any of the seasonal islands because we haven't played the seasonal islands yet. So you only get those islands once you've actually experienced this season. So it will probably be a normal island. But maybe we'll get lucky and find lots of bells or something. Yeah, that's 1,000 miles then. And we're poor. Oh, yes, we found a vine island. Oh, I'm so glad. Hmm. Hmm, looks like vines be growing on the cliffs. Them vines be sturdier than they look. Even grown-ups can climb them. Give it a try. Uh, you can also grab some with Y if you want to take some home. Oh, yes. We are. Oh, I'm so glad we decided to come to the island. And look, we've got some different bushes as well. Oh, and the glowing moss. This is going to be perfect for our forest. I'm thinking we could have a forest maybe on one side of the map, maybe behind our house that leads into a swamp with glowing moss. That would be really cool. And then we could put the fossils everywhere and it would be like, oh, it would be like a spooky swamp where no, no one's made it out. <laughs> that sounds really cool. Okay, let's look for the message bottle. <gasps> glowing moss hood. Yeah. 
Okay, before we grab the vines and the glowing moss, let's just raid the rocks and collect some resources. We'll start with the rocks. Oh, almost a perfect uh, nugget, iron nugget rock there. Do you know what? I think we should take the coconuts as well. Since we're, we've got Bell Boom on and we're selling a bunch of stuff tomorrow, it will pay to just sell the coconuts as well. We seem to be getting a lot of iron nuggets on this island. <laughs> no. Oh no, I guess that's it for my shovel. Mustn't forget to grab our gyro fragment. And now we can start collecting the glowing moss, which is just so cool. And of course, we're going to take a bunch of the vines home as well. And we even have space to take some bushes home. This has been a pretty successful trip. Okay, we filled our pockets with lots of goodies, loads of uh, plumeria bushes. We've raided the coconut trees just to sell them tomorrow. We've got a bunch of resources. We got 12 glowing moss, which should be more than enough to make a little swamp. And we've got a bunch of vines as well we've pretty much taken everything there is um so yeah feel pretty good okay so we'll plant our gyroid fragment here now that we're home and once again go and empty our pockets we can plant the bushes here for now just to get them out of our pockets and i think we'll just leave the vines and the glowing moss here until it comes to building them so our island's getting a bit messy <laughs> Um, but it's okay. At least we kind of know where everything is. Okay, all that's left to do today is find the wasps. Ooh, we'll take the Kotatsu instead. So yeah, I think that's a good place to wrap it up. I hope you're still enjoying this series. Uh, there's a lot more to come, obviously. It just, it just takes a lot of preparing, getting all the things we need, do a lot of the progression in the game. So I think we started off a bit slow, but we are kind of picking up uh, our pace a little bit now. So I hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments. Any suggestions you have would be awesome as well. Um, yeah, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, of course, to the patrons and channel members for supporting this content i thank you the viewers thank you you're awesome and i'll see you in the next one bye